I know something's going to happen. Because when other teams are playing for everything we have, we have nothing to lose. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east and to the west. What's better than this? More of this. Now let's talk about it. Last year out of the AFC, it was a very competitive year. We've had teams like uh, Buffalo and New England. They're pretty much uh, leading, you know, our division. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland, and also with Tennessee, um, in Indianapolis, and, and the Chiefs, Raiders, and the Chargers. I'm naming these teams because of the fact that, you know, th th these teams were pretty good. And, you know, we uh, we went 9-8, and eight. the Steelers went 9-7-1, and one. Um, the Colts went 9-8, and eight, and the Chargers went 9-8. and eight. Now, out of the nine and eight teams you know Miami um, we, we scored this fewest points okay out of the nine and eight teams and um, we are only slightly better than Pittsburgh who is nine seven and one um, I believe the points scored was like I think we scored 343 points for the year and they scored like 341 and you know the defense giving up you know, slightly a little bit more in Pittsburgh's defense, giving them slightly a little bit less. Um, you know, we have a lot of things to work on, okay? D don't get me wrong about that. We have a lot of things to work on. Now, when you look at the matter of, you know, what's going on here um, from the teams that, you know, I just named there, Buffalo, the Patriots, you know, of course, Miami, then Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Tennessee, and Indianapolis, and Kansas City, um, the Raiders, and the Chargers um, from last year. Now, you, you look at those teams, and out of the 2021 season, take the top 10 teams in the NFL that uh, scored the most rushing touchdowns, looking at the passing TDs so out of the top 10 there's only three teams from the AFC that uh, made it into the top 10 the Chiefs had 37 TDs Buffalo had 36 TDs the Bengals also had 36 TDs and we're talking about through the air you know this is the passing and Miami we um, we were 21 we were right 21 down there and we had 21 TDs passing so, so like when we're also talking about like, uh, also when we're talking about like receiving yards and passing yards, okay, we're like out, out, out of like the NFL, okay, we're 13, so we're just shy of that top 10. We have like five other teams in the ASC ahead of us. And then, you know, you look at our rushing, okay, we were, <laughs> we were very, uh, we were very bad last year running the ball. You know, our, bench, our offensive line was just, it looked like Swiss cheese. And and I'm not talking about the good Swiss cheese either. I am not talking about the good Swiss cheese at all. I'm talking about like some moldy Swiss cheese. I mean, it was bad. It was really bad. Look, we came in 30th out of 32 teams. We were the 30th team with, you know, the with, out of 32 teams, we came in 30. All right, I guess, you know, we could say it's, you know, at least one less, but fellas, we got to do bad. Out of 17 games, 442 attempts, we only mustered up, um, we only mustered up 1,568 yards. We had uh, 12 touchdowns. Our longest run was like 30 yards, a little over three and a half, maybe three and a half yards per carry. That type of that type of running will get you that type of running will get you at the 
at the bottom of the list there when you were in the ball. Now you look at the top 10 teams, okay? And out of the top 10 teams last year that were effectively running the ball, we had six teams out of the top 10 from the AFC, okay? We had um, the Colts were one, the Ravens were one, the Browns, the Tennessee Titans, Buffalo, and New England. When you look at our placement on things as far as being 31, um, being 31 in rush, 17th in passing offense. When you're talking about the team offense, we're coming in um, hot. Like, at, I think we're the 22nd ranked team when it comes to team offense. You know, I, I would... I would definitely have to say, you know, with the additions that we've gotten, you know, over um, the course of um, this spring and summer, I venture to say that, you know, we're definitely going to, you know, do a lot better than what we have been doing with passing the ball. That's for certain. Now, the thing I'm concerned about is running and, you know, getting into the lanes and holes opening up so our, our backs don't have to, you know, sit behind the line and wait for something to open. Um, and, you know, once we figure that out, that will definitely help us. But, you know, reflecting back on just the things that we just talked about right there, um, I, I think, you know, I going into the 22 season, you know, the top Three teams in my mind, with the, with the top offenses in my mind, are um, Buffalo, Cincinnati, the Kansas City Chiefs. I think um, those three are the uh, top offenses, you know, going into the 2022 season. Um, I mean, just going off statistics. Now, on paper, I would definitely say Miami. <laughs> definitely, I would definitely say Miami on paper. But going off stats from last year and where we are, again, you know, I reiterate the top uh, three offenses going into the 22 season. After going over the stats and looking at the um, looking at the records of all the teams, one of them is oh well, and the other one is. Um, Kansas City, Chiefs, and the Cincinnati Bengals. So, um, there it is. Let's go Miami. Let's pick it up. Let's get better. And um, so, next time, you'll be seeing Miami, you know, is definitely one of the top offenses. So, with all that, if you guys have any uh, questions or any thoughts or viewpoints on it, yeah, just please let me know. You know, feel free to... Uh, um, speak your your mind here, and you know, uh, you, and um, with that, get at you guys later. Deuces. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east, and to the west. What's better than this? More of this. Now let's talk about it. Don't forget to take a look at our gear. Um, I'm clicking with the fin fan. You can check out the links uh, below. And also know that uh, your support with this um, helps our artist, and it also helps uh, what we're doing here uh, with clicking with the fin fin. And um, a good thing about it all is uh, you also get free shipping with that. So just uh, take a look at the gear that we got. Um, grab something for you, your boo, significant other, your kids, whatever. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you.